Hi, it's Pasi Ahola from Taipuva Consulting. I'm going to show you how the gyro connector and polaring works. So here's the um, scenario that we're going to look today. Um, on the left side in the picture, uh, there's polarium. And we're going to have um, so-called software requirement here on the polarium. And then we'll create that on gyro. Um, we'll do a, a small change on the side, uh, on, on Yura side to update the status of the EPIC there and then get the status update back to Polarium. So um, here is how the uh, connectors are configured on Polarium. So it's Polarium that take care, takes care of the integration. There are actually uh, multiple connectors here defined. Uh, this is the one that we're going to use today. Um, and it, the uh, configuration here is just to give um, username and password for Polarion to access Jira. And then the actual integration is defined with synchronous and pairs, so-called. Um, for example, here is the one that we're going to use today, Software Requirement EPIC. Um, it's on this Jira server and this project called Demo there. And if we look at how it's defined, is that it has the settings here, basically saying that um, left type here actually means Polarion, right side means um, Era. Software requirement will be mapped to uh, Epic in Era, and then field mappings are quite straightforward. Um, there is something that we need, for example, type, issue type mapping, this is all automatic actually. Um, then the fields that we're going to uh, interact between Polarion and Yira. In this example, we have title description in, in uh, Polarion. Title becomes a summary in, in Yira. Description, description, and status, and status. And then there is also uh, possible to configure uh, the um, enumeration mappings. For example, here's for the status, quite simply as this. And then to the actual demo, um, I have um, Polarion project opened here. Let's refresh. Uh, I'll see the latest um, requirements here. And then Yira looks like this. So we have uh, these issues here um, on the demo project. So let's create a new one here on Polarion software requirement. Let's name it like this and then put some description here. Like this and let's just create that. And now we actually run the connector from here manually. Let's execute this. Usually it would work uh, in the background like every five minutes or so. Uh, firing um, scheduled. Now let's look at the log. Yeah, it's, it's done. So we should now, if we refresh the Yira view, We have the uh, new issue here, which is uh, has the text, uh, the title, and the description from Polaria. And where's the um, yeah description is here. Um, then let's change the status here on Yira. So it has been updated in Yira. It's now in progress here in Yira. Let's fire the um, um, the integration again. Now let's see if it's run. Yeah, it's still now it's complete. Uh, let's now go back to Polarium project and refresh here. Now we have it in progress on Polarium side. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.